guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the very highly requested Too Faced Natural Collection. The palettes that I picked up are the Natural Eyes, which has both the mattes and the shimmers. I also bought the Natural Face palette, and then I also picked up two of their new lipsticks. If you guys are brand new to my channel, hi, my name is Jenna Fraze. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video today. I do two videos a week that are all about beauty, so if you are just as interested in makeup as I am, I'm sure we'd get along great. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as don't forget to hit that bell in order to be notified when I post my future videos. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know I do have a giveaway going on on my channel right now. I am giving away two of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills products, the first being the Soft Glam Palette, as well as the Amrezy Highlighter. So don't forget to check out that video. I'll have it linked down below. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's get on to these reviews. Since there are three products that I'll be reviewing today, I will be posting some timestamps in the description box below, so if you are interested in only one, you can definitely just zoom past and get to that particular spot. The first product I'm going to be talking about is actually the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I don't typically highlight outer packaging in these reviews, but this one I absolutely had to. I do think that this is a gorgeous outer packaging. It definitely is elegant and classy. When you open up the box, you will see the palette inside. It has some beautiful gold accents with the pink lace on the packaging itself. When you open up the palette, you will see a generous size mirror, which is always great. Then you have two highlights, two blushes, and two bronzers. This palette is available online at Sephora right now for 44 American dollars or 54 Canadian dollars. Too Faced has branded this whole new collection as natural, you know, easy looks. When I was thinking about face palettes that are very natural, I was actually thinking about the hourglass palettes that I currently own, like the edit palettes that come out, you know, around the holidays where they have some of the highlights and the blushes and some of the bronzing shades and they're very natural. These are not the same as those, of course. These are definitely a lot lower of a price point but when it comes to the collection I was surprised because the shades inside don't really speak natural to me. When looking at the highlighter shades in the pan they don't come across as iridescent but when I swatch them they definitely have an iridescent shift to both of them and for me that is not necessarily a very natural look. When I was working with these blushes these are incredibly pigmented so I do love that. When it comes to applying them you definitely need a light hand. Make sure you're using a little bit more of a fluffier brush when it comes to these blushes because a denser brush will really pick up a lot of pigment and it will be very hard to blend out. As for the bronzers, I would say that these are probably the most disappointing out of this palette. The Sunny Honey shade, which is the light shade, that one is too light for me. I think it would work much better for fair skin tones, but it does have a tinge of orange to it, and the darker bronzer shade has a little bit of a sheen. So I do like that it's darker, but I don't like that there's a bit of a sheen to it. My ideal bronzers are matte. They are very natural looking. A teeny bit of a red undertone is perfect for that, you know, right out of the sun kind of look. But these these two definitely miss the mark for me. As for the formula, very buttery, very nice. The palette has a bit of a cocoa butter kind of smell, which makes sense because that is part of the formula. Because I don't have highlights like these in my collection and because the blushes are nice, I may keep it, but the bronzers are a definite miss for me. The next product we're going to be talking about is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. When it comes to the outside packaging, again, very similar to the Natural Face Palette in that it has the golds and the nice lace. And when you see the product itself, again, it belongs to the same natural collection because this is exactly how the natural face palette looks. When you open it up, just like the face palette, there is a generous mirror and there are nine eyeshadow shades. This natural eyes palette is available at Sephora online right now. It is 38 American dollars or 48 Canadian dollars. Out of the nine shadows, there are four mattes and five shimmer shades. I love that the matte formula in this palette is very consistent. When I was working with the colors, they had very nice pigmentation. There was a little bit of fallout on my face, but not super crazy. But what I didn't like was I did noticed that depending on the shimmer that I was working with, they were a little bit more difficult to work with. The darker shimmers like Erotica and Chocolate Martini, those were a teeny bit more patchy than the other shimmers in this palette, but not to the point where it's a big deal breaker. It's just a little bit more of some blending that you kind of have to do to get it to look smooth. On my eye today, I am wearing Erotica on the edge and it does still have a very beautiful look, so I love that. But I did find I had to blend that one a little bit more than the other shimmers that I used as well. Palette also has that same kind of cocoa butter smell, just like the face palette. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more as well, but there is definitely 
definitely a lace pattern that is kind of embossed into the pigment. I get why they did that, like it's cute and all that kind of stuff, but I don't necessarily think that it is super practical when you're working with these long term. I did find with my Too Faced Sweet Peach blush, there was that peach that was embossed into the blush as well, and now it is really getting gross as I've been using it. Like it's breaking down in chunks kind of because of that stamp that's been placed into the blush. So this is kind of what I mean by the whole breakdown process. This is my Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. I have been using this off and on for, I don't know, I guess almost a year now. And as you can see, it is breaking down really funny. There's chunks kind of in the blush missing because of the fact that there was that peach embossed into the blush. So it's not like wearing nicely away. It's just kind of getting all crackly and stuff. So that is just something that is a little bit of a nuisance for me, but not a deal breaker with the product, but just something I really wanted to point out. I know this was reformulated in this new formula. I don't have the original Natural Eyes palette, so I'm gonna be keeping this one because I do love it. The last product I'm going to be talking about are these brand new Natural nudes lipsticks. These are gorgeous as well. I actually think that out of the whole collection, at least that I bought, I know there are a few bronzers as well. I didn't pick those up, but from the three products that I've picked up, I do think that these guys are the winners. I have two shades. One is in Pout About It, which is the darker one, and this one is in Birthday Suit, which is what I'm wearing today as well. Outer packaging again, very similar to the rest of the natural collection with the lace and the gold accents. And then the product itself has this gorgeous lace detailing on the lipstick cap itself with the gold bottom. I love these. They are so elegant, so classy, definitely my favorite in this collection. The pigmentation on these guys is great. I love the fact that birthday suit, this one here is fairly light, but it's still very pigmented. I actually have quite pigmented lips underneath. So when I use light lipsticks like these, they need to be pigmented in order to really show their color. Otherwise the darkness of my natural pigment is going to show through. I'm always drawn towards nudes. I have a lot of them. So this was very ideal for someone like me. I'm not sure what else to say about these guys except pick these up because they are so great. These are very long lasting considering they're not a stain. I actually really recommend these. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to be checking out this collection and what you're going to be buying. If you guys enjoy product reviews, don't forget to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out as well as check out the giveaway if you're interested in that. Until my next video guys, take care. Hope you have a good day. Bye!